Right out of care about ourselves. I'm nothing, people. I'm absolutely nothing. But I can bear witness that God answers prayer. Hallelujah. Do you know that? Do you know that God can answer your prayers? He can deal with you. He Amen. can change you from loving alcohol, loving pornography, loving drugs, loving whatever. He can give you a new heart. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. God is a good God. He's such a good God. But we do not want this. Why are we like this? I want to ask you the question today. What do you seek for in life? Do you seek to please yourself or do you seek to please others? Because the Bible says the heart is the issue. The Bible says the heart is the issue. God can change you, hallelujah. He can give you a new heart. Amen. He can make you seek God. That's right. Glory to God. He's hallelujah. Such a good God. Give glory to Jesus Christ because he's worth it. He's worthy. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the name above all names. Amen. Hebrews 5 9 says eternal life is for those that obey Jesus. Obey Amen. Jesus Christ. That's right. So let us seek God. Hallelujah. He's such a good God. Praise the Lord. Lord, we just we just give the God thanks today. That's what we're here. We're here to lift the name of Jesus. We're not here to look down on anyone because I'm nothing myself. I'm absolutely nothing. I'm dirt. But I can bear witness that God answers prayer. He can deal with you. He can change with you. He wants to deal with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. He's such a good God. We're not here against you. We're not here to look down at you. We're here to give you love and to pray the word of Jesus. Excuse me. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Trans right. The liars, the liars, thieves, adulterers, fornicators will not enter into the kingdom of God. You need to ask yourself, what are you thinking in this life? Are you thinking yourself? Are you thinking to please your own self, to please your flesh? The Bible says in Romans 8, there's no condemnation for those that walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. I mean, you got to walk after the Spirit of God. you got to walk after Jesus Christ. you got to seek the things which are above. So that three things that seek the things above and not of this world. That's right. That's what the people there are looking around you. Shoes, fashion, clothes. But what do you want in life? Do you yes. want to live a nice, happy life or do you want to go to heaven and live a beautiful, eternal life with the King of Kings? Amen. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. Hallelujah, God is good. Amen. Lord, we just give you thanks because you're worthy of it. Hallelujah. Lord, you're so worthy of everything. You're worthy of praise. Hallelujah. I want to warn you today because the Bible talks that when the people say peace and safety, it says run. Yes. It means there's judgment coming. That's right. Judgment is coming against sin. Yes. Judgment is coming against this world. And I want to wake you up, folks, because the Bible says that many sleep. Many sleep. They're drinking beer. They're drinking wine. They're eating nice things, but they're not worrying yes. about the things of God. That's right. We need to wake up, folks. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is good. Yes. Jesus is coming, folks. Yes. I'm not here just to be a fear monger. I'm just here to warn you that there's a time coming when Jesus is going to judge you. That's and right, Adam. Preach it, bro. Amen. You're going to stand before him. You're going to car. The Bible says, dust you came from, and dust you shall return. You are nothing before God. You're absolutely nothing. You are nothing. So why don't you humble yourself before God? The Bible says God gives grace to the humble. That's right. He resists the pride. That's the pride. Amen. That's the way the word is. By the knee. The love to see a humble sinner. A humble yes. sinner that's willing to change. Why don't you come to God? He can change you so much. He can do wonderful things for you. 
God is such a good God and I just give him praise. I'm going to give you a good Amen. testimony that God has answered prayers in my life. Amen. Very specific prayers. Yes. Many of you say, well, what has God done for me? What have you done for God? Here you are. You love your sin. You love your drugs. You love your alcohol. You love your sex. You don't want to change. But why don't you change and God can deal with you? He can answer your prayers. He can do beautiful things in your life. Amen. There's many people who can bear witness that God... He's a good God, Amen. and He answers prayer. He does. But you don't want that because you love your sin. That's right. Because you love your cigarettes, you love your homosexuality, you love the things of this world. But yes. This world is passing away. Just look at your skin from last year. I bet you've got a bit older, a bit grayer. People try to put Botox into their faces; they look younger. Get a grip of yourself. Come on, come to Jesus. Amen. He can give you real life. He can yes. give you eternal life. The life that will never fade away. That's right. So please, folks, I ask you to consider. The Bible says, consider what I say, and the Lord give the understanding. Hallelujah. He will give you wisdom. He'll give you knowledge. He'll give you great things. But you have to die to this world. You do. Take you up your cross. You have to die to the beer guzzling. Yeah. You have to die to the cigarette smoking. Yes, anger. You have to die to the fornicating. Yes. The homosexuality. Yeah. The lies. All sorts of drugs. Come on. God loves you. He loves you so much. I'm not here to sit and look down at you. I'm nothing but a sinner of my own self. I've made a mess of my life, but God has been changing me. Hallelujah. He's been so good to me. Amen. He's been so good. Praise God. And he can continue to change me. God bless him. Bless the Lord. Amen. He is wonderful. God bless you. The Bible says that God came into this world to see of sinners. Amen. To see of sinners. Not, not, not to condemn them, but to save them. But there's a time coming. When the judgment and the wrath of God will be poured out in this world. Yes. And the Bible says it's not going to be a day of light, but a day of darkness. Yes. So we just give glory to God. Hallelujah. Belfast, repent. Yes. Be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And you shall receive the Holy Ghost. That's Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. It's a promise. It's a promise, people. Amen. God bless you. Bless God. God bless you. Folks. Yes. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near, because yeah. there's a time coming when you can't do that. Amen. You can't do that, folks. Yeah. When your time is up, the Bible says today is the day of salvation, or tomorrow is promised to no one. Don't live for yourself, folks. Don't live to please yourself. Live to please God. That's right. Because that's where real joy will come. That's where real joy will come in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's such a good God. Amen. Folks, please consider what God has got for you. Consider even giving you a wonderful life. It's not just because you put away Hello. your sins does not mean you're miserable. No, no, not by any means. The Bible says you'll be free, free from sin. That's free, right, Adam. Free indeed. And that's where real freedom will come. People say they're free, but they don't know what the word free means. They haven't got a clue. No. God can set you free from sin. You won't be a slave to pornography any longer. You won't be a slave to cigarettes, a slave to alcohol, a slave to drugs. You'll be free, free Amen. God bless. Amen.